Hey everyone, this is Manly Man S0, and welcome back to Lifeless Planet. Previously on Lifeless Planet, we went through Volcano World, and then we saved our Russian friend, and we've unlocked some new area. I'm not really sure how much longer this journey is gonna go on. This crater area doesn't sound too good. Is that another person up there? Or is that just... No, it's just the texture popping. So is this your house? Very cozy. But foot finally in any place like Minecraft or one of those. Talking about the moss. Elena. So she's essentially a living plant. So that's not radioactive. That's... it's moss. Doesn't quite explain why she was able to tame the plants beforehand, though. Maybe some anime new type situation going on here. Humans living and being raised in space suddenly gaining some new psychic powers. I think Zone of Enders had a similar gimmick. It was it was basically like new types, but. Am I supposed to type rope walk this? Oh my god. No, I can't be right. No. Ah! Well, that answers that. Down we go. I kind of feel like I'm playing tribes now. Something crash landed here. Maybe the first plant? The thing that caused all this mess? Or whatever introduced the bacteria that ruined everything? I don't know. This was just the remnants of an ancient alien ship. Scouting craft, I guess.
And you think about it, they landed here very similar to how we did. All right. Can I just kind of hop above this and be on my way? No, I have to go all the way back to the top of the crater. Oh, fun. All right. It's pretty uh, romantic, right? Did you like that uh, rock I gave you earlier? So it was a nice rock. I found it. Yeah. Uh, the state's not going too well. Now what's that? Huh. Looks like the ground floor of the portal. Boy, you are fast when you decide to be. So this seems to be a portal of some kind. Maybe this one works. The Russians were studying these alien structures. What were they looking for? Do you really need a reason to be studying these? I mean... They provide power, they teleport people. I think that's a good enough reason to study them. Uh, I see what's happening here. go. That's one down. Maybe we'll activate this portal and get out of here. Of course, by get out of here, we'll probably be transported to some alien planet. Of some atmosphere we can't completely handle at all. So if the green moss is power, then these just must really be just mossy rocks. Nothing special about them. I think that's a button right there I gotta push. Something's happening. I, I really don't know what's happening, but something is. Green rainbow. So we can only speculate that the aliens, the titans, were a plant-based species. Well, similar plants anyway. Which is why all the technology would run around green moss. A good chance this was just kind of a harvesting planet. Like a giant outsourced farm. Then went terribly wrong. Uh oh. Okay, my legs.
Oh, 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 we need to get out of the way. Thank you, American astronaut. You are surely good at pushing those buttons for me. I've waited for this one day for the chosen one to come and push the buttons. Oh, dang, damn it. One way of solving the problem. It's it's not the right way, but it worked. It's a true American solution for a true American astronaut like me. I'm walking on sunshine. Whoa, yeah. Don't you feel good? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Gonna get eaten by plants, oh yeah. So yeah, the uh, aliens were the plants, essentially. Just something we already figured out. That explains the titans and why they were giant trees. Well, fossilized trees anyway. Excuse me, I have to run or I will in fact die. Gotta go at a very fast pace. Almost there. I found my wife after searching for several days. She had fallen off some rocks while hiking and was lying unconscious oh, no. in the woods near our house. I'll never forget. She was covered in leaves and there was moss or something beginning to grow on her toes. I thought of that a few years ago and made me realize how temporary our lives are. Sooner or later, we have to let go. don't understand. What happened? This has to be a dream. Looks almost like the Russian girl. Could just be similar models. Even in my dreams, I have to platform. Where are you? Oh my 
God. Ugh. Please don't move from out from under me. Hold on, I'm coming. Atmosphere must be breathable down here. But where am I? Maybe the heart of the plants? It's the only thing I can think of. That's a lot of blood. I hope she's still alive. The creature has the woman now, and she's clearly been injured. Drops of the woman's blood glow bright green on the cavern floor. I hope she is still alive. But I can't imagine how I'll be able to help her if that monster is nearby. We'll figure something out. Just like that stupid rock puzzle. You just have to use the American way. All the way. Nice to have my upgrade jetpack with me. It looks like the real you. Even then, I don't, I'm not quite sure. Oh. realize you're one of those titan plants I saw earlier. Except you were just a fossil then. get it now. So the aliens, the plants are the aliens, although the ones we see are primitive versions of them. I'm assuming the, the true species of them are the giant ones we kind of see. And when we came here, we screwed up the environment, they rejected us, the moss died, and became kind of rabid berserkers. And she just kind of linked them and brought them back to life. So assuming things are going to work out. The woman I've been following is gone. Well, no, she's still here, all around me, having given herself up to the monster that saved this planet. 
She willingly shared her life, saving Kira at her own expense. I'd like to think she's more at home here. Merged with this strange and beautiful ecosystem than in the company of a lowly human being such as myself. Whatever the case, she saved my life, along with countless other beings on this planet. So yeah, essentially, that's what happened. She's kind of restored life to these roots. So they're no longer raging man-killing beasts. Despite what you can say about inhumane Russian scientists doing experiments on innocent people, uh, it kind of did save the planet and everyone in the end, so... You know, I guess you can argue it was a worthy sacrifice. Look like limbs, almost. these kind of parts. Pretty easy to fall and get kind of hung up on the geometry of the root. Especially this one right here. Oh god. I'm tempted to just kind of rock it down like this. Yeah. It's probably what you're supposed to do anyway. Especially this part right here, this is really bad. Oh, not good, very bad. Oh, my legs. I hope you like redoing every single part of that, because you're gonna have to. I'm gonna do something crazy and try to shortcut this. There we go. I'm cutting out most of that kind of grinding, if you would say. All right, let's bugger out. Hopefully that portal works now, I'm gonna leave. We don't end up on another plant world. Wake up in the middle of Siberia. Not like that's much better. Pretty now. A bit green, pretty. And I'm thinking about it, I didn't really accomplish much by coming here. I really was just a guy who just went around pushing buttons and lifting up rocks for people. That was my big heroic moment. I have no idea why she couldn't do it, but I don't know, maybe because the whole grabber arm thing. 
No, that doesn't make sense though. She could do like super jumps. Hmm. Maybe she was worried that she'd run out of oxygen at some point to that volcanic area. So the other portal does lead back to Earth, but hundreds of years in the future. A week in this world was a month back on Earth. How many days have passed here? Oh man. Arrival portal malfunction. That's with all the blood. Heal. So it didn't lead to the alien homeworld. This is the alien homeworld. It's gonna be an interesting trip back. So, people from the future, I'm from the past. You know that launch that kind of failed and you lost all the astronauts? And you probably already know what would happen exactly? I'm from then. Actually, this reminds me of uh, Gunbuster, which actually dealt with the whole space, time difference, Earth thing, or whatever, and warps. I forget the term for what it's called, but it's an actual science. Needless to say, a lot of time had passed before our main characters got back to Earth. The Titans. just advanced ends still I'll be seeing you guys later it's time for me to go visit the Jetsons in the far off time of the year 2002 Hopefully all the hipsters are dead by this time. And they haven't taken over the universe. Man, that would be awful. As I understand, you've kept your wife on life support. It sounds like you haven't been able to let her go. Actually, I did it for her. I want to give her every chance to live again. Even if I'm not here. Damn it. The hipsters did take over. You bastards! You had to blow it up with environmentalism and good policies.
this turns into a number 20 minute credits because of all the Kickstarter backers, I would be quite upset. That seems to be a trend. I saw it in Dread Out, and I saw it in Among the Sleep. And as... How you speak? As nice of a gesture it is, I think it kind of ruins the credits for people who actually have to sit through them and kind of complete their gameplay experience by viewing the entire credits when you have to see 20 minutes of Kickstarter backers go up on by. I think the best way to handle that is to have a separate credits that you can kind of click. This one's not too bad. The Among the Sleep and Dreadout was terrible. Well, my wife first of all, and then Earth itself. All of it. She saw the beauty of this planet long before I did. You truly loved her. Of course. And if you lose someone you love, even 20 light years probably isn't enough distance to make you stop missing them. So that's it for Lifeless Planet. A game that had some interesting things going on. Some of the areas were kind of boring, while other ones were actually pretty well done from a platforming perspective. I think this game could have been a little bit shorter, actually. Some areas kind of felt useless a bit. But the idea is good. Uh, the story is kind of simple, but it works for what it is. It's not designed to be like a complicated, twist, deep story. It's, you know, you go in there and the planet's lifeless, and then it's not, and then environmentalism and all that stuff. Overall, it's actually an enjoyable experience, I'd say. It's not going to make you think, well, this is unforgettable and this is the best game I've ever played or anything, but it's distinct enough from what you usually get, especially out of even just indie games, that, that I would recommend this game if someone asked me if they should buy it or not. But only, only if they can stand that kind of emptiness and just the platforming around and everything. If you can enjoy that, then I think this is a good game. Anyway, so thank you all for watching me play Lifeless Planet. I'll see you guys later. Take it easy.